careful and never think of jailing Namdekano because this will happen. Bishop O.K. warned Buare. The National President of the Pentecostal Fellowship of Nigerian PFN, Bishop Francis Wale O.K. has said that if the federal government silenced Namdekano or jail him, other agitators will rise to take their place. Why he was briefing reporters on the State of the Union on Thursday, he expressed that the only thing that can stop the turmoil is good governance and fairness. The only thing that will stop the upheaval is good governance, and is good governance we speak of a good of a government in which everyone has the same interest. The same opportunities and the same representation as long as some people feel excluded and there will always be agitators who work for the emancipation of their people. We call on the government to ensure that the population is fair to participate and, rep and represent in governance. Until it's done, the Tom Oil will never stop. If we silence Namdekano and Sunday Igboho, others will stand up, said OK. The National Secretary of the NFP, Dr. Cosmos Ilechuku, said the panel is praying for the governance and plans to meet with government in the near future to make its position known. He said the NPF would support any legal actions taken by the federal government to keep the nation in unity and together. We are a law-abiding organization. We live in a nation that has the rule of law, where the government's actions are carried out in accordance with the law. They are. Referring to the Constitution, Ile Choko said that the current document is not that people represented. The 1999 constitution was imposed on Nigerians by the military. It's a constitution that is corrupt. We need a new constitution, he said. Buari knows that we need a new constitution. He knows. But then, he knows how the, the new constitution will definitely look like. He knows what the old constitution contains. And he knows that the old constitution speaks for the favor of the Northerners, most especially the Fulanese. So that is why, why people are calling for restructuring, very keep giving them a deaf ears because he doesn't want anything of such to come while he's still in power. <laughs> if I'm telling you people that Bwari, that Nigerian is confused, but that Bwari is not confused, you, I, I want you to reason with me. Do you think Bwari is a fool? Look at when he came into power. What did he do? The first thing he did was to relocate the army, army headquarters to Meduguri. <laughs> when they asked him why, he said, that is where the Boko people headquarter is. That he want the headquarter to be there so that it, it, it can be easy to finish them up. How many years are we now? How many years are we now? Have we been able to, to finish up the Boko people? Or, are the book, or are the, is it not the Boko people that are finishing us now? they are the one finishing us they are the one finishing us they will finish us they will collect our money look at our 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 reserve see what we have in our reserve we don't have money again we don't have money again in the post we don't have anything do you understand now we don't have anything we don't we are empty because of these Boko people. 
we now go out begging. We are, we are now beggars. The Boko people have turned us to beggars. They have turned Nigeria to a beggar because we don't longer have enough in our reserve. And this administration cost it. It is this administration that cost it. It is this administration that made us to be a beggar. It is this administration that made us to, to, to pay huge ransoms. How many ransoms did we pay in the Jonathan administration? How many? But in this administration, we have paid countless, countless of, of, of ransoms. What millions, billions? We don't need to start counting them. Let's digress back to what Bishop O'K have just said. It is a warning, you know. It is a warning that nothing, nothing must happen to Namde Kano. That nothing must happen to Namde Kano. Though um, this very man of God is not um, used to talking much like, um, like, um, T.B. Joshua, uh, Tunde Bakari, uh, you know, all these men of God that talk much, you know, that we hear their voice mostly. She understand? But then, for him to come out and speak, it shows that, it shows that there is facts in his message so it is now left to worry to do as as um as advised it is not left to him to do as advised so if he do, if if he wants to listen to the word of god if he really wants god to act then he will heed to the prophecy of the man of God. A word is enough for the wise. Let me hear from you from the outside to know what you have said concerning all that have just been said. Don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.